Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, my name is Olukotu Samuel Lamide. I'm a business manager and um, I'm also a YouTuber. And um, in case you are watching my video for the first time, um, on this um, YouTube channel, we try to solve various challenges um, individuals can encounter, making payments online, receiving payments online, um, issues that may involve your bank, issues that may involve your POS and also issues that may involve e-commerce websites. All right, so you want to get something on an e-commerce website. How do you go about it? How do you receive payment? You have a payment challenge, anything that basically has to do with receiving and sending payment online. You are in the right channel. All right, so over the few months, we have been able to make um, about 100 videos and these videos have been able to reach up to 1 million um, impression. All right, so we have been able to um, get across to a lot of persons and good for us we have been able to solve issues that um, pertains to what they want to know okay so i want to encourage you in case you have not subscribed to this youtube channel please try to subscribe to this youtube channel the best way you can encourage us to make more videos is by subscribing to our channel so um, i want us to take this youtube channel to 100,000 subscribers Yes, it's possible, it's possible, it's possible by what you do, it's possible by you subscribing, just click on the subscribe button and that is it, we can do this guys. And also, like this video, when you like this video, YouTube algorithm is directly going to push out this video to those that are interested in seeing this kind of video and trust me, this video is as important as everybody knowing about it. Alright, so there are a lot of persons that are having issues and um, there's nobody to solve it for them, so when they just come online, they want to get their issues solved. So, subscribing to this channel, liking this video is going to make it much more accessible for um, the greater audience. So, thank you so much. Thank you for subscribing and also thank you for liking this video. Then also, for those that um, wish to drop comments, you want to ask a question, you are facing a challenge online, receiving payment online, sending payment online or with your e-commerce website, so you can drop it on the comment section and I will do well to also um, address and attend to you on the comment section. And lastly, for those that are interested in joining our community, um, you can check the description link below this video and you can join our community, our WhatsApp community, our Facebook community where we interact with individuals and business owners. Um, on matters related to receiving payments, sending payments online, and resolving bank transaction issues. All right. So on today's topic, I will be specifically um, explaining, and our tutorials today will only be covering those that um, are having a POS. So if you are using a POS, today's tutorial is going to be covering that. All right. So on today's tutorial, we will be discussing various challenges and various things you should know if you have a POS. This is very, very important, guys. So I'll be sharing with you three key points and um, three most important ways that POS owners are usually scammed and you should know this if you have a POS. Knowing this is going to protect your capital. Knowing this is going to help you to grow your business. So you don't want um, the business you've been growing for over the past few years for somebody to just wipe it off just in one day because you are not aware of a decision that you should know. It makes you smarter, it makes you one step ahead of those that are watching you. All right. So I'll be sharing with you, like I've said, three key points and the third one is the most important. So stay till the end of this video. All right. So I have with me three brands of PS. We have the analog, we have the Touch, then we have the minimum POS. Okay, um, so basically, um, recently we have been having issues and I've been seeing issues online with individuals that are using the POS and various ways they have been scamming them. And um, I decided to make this video so that um, we can acquaint our um, business owners on how to manage scam issues. So, the first thing you should know. As a business owner that you are using a POS for your business or for cash in and cash out is that number one you should limit receiving third party transfer all right this is very very important and um, it's very important so what do I mean by limit third party transfer all right let's assume somebody comes to your um, post to or your shop 
or your business to make a transaction and the person is not the one directly sending the money to you all right the person is trying to bring in another third party that is not present with you and usually you can decide to go for the transaction if you feel secured about the transaction but one thing i want you to know in this transaction is that you are the person involved in the transaction and um, the receiver that is with you physically is not involved in that particular transaction so if you feel the money is something you can still um, try or you know the person you can go for the transaction but then if you somebody you don't know um, from Adam somebody you don't know and the money is quite huge then I think you can let go of the transaction if you are not greedy enough to just hold on to it but then this, this is what it means it means that once a third party is involved in a transaction, for instance, I as a customer um, visit your shop and um, I want to get one million from your shop but I am not directly sending the money to you. There is a third party somewhere that you do not know that is sending the money to you and I will receive the payment. Now, the issue with this kind of transaction is that I am not involved in the transaction. All right, I want you to get this very, very clear. I'm not involved in the transaction. You don't have any proof against me. You don't have any proof for me that I received payment from you. Because I'll only be getting the cash from you. So there is no transaction uh, as per evidence. Okay, so we cannot trace any transaction back to me. So it's between the third party and the recipient. All right, so. Um, usually people that do this, um, especially for huge sum of amount, uh, let's assume a kidnapper kidnaps someone and wants to receive payment. The kidnapper is not going to receive the payment directly into his or her own account. He's going to look for somebody that um, he or she can go through, get the payment and becomes untraceable, okay? Because we cannot trace the person. So the person is willing to even pay any amount of charges you are interested in getting. So the person is not concerned about the charges. You understand because of the greater, um, the greater goal the person will be getting from such a transaction. So once a transaction is involving a third party, you must be very, very careful about the transaction. You must check well, you must ask questions, and if you are not still satisfied, you must be able to let go of that transaction. This is very, very important. You must be able to let go of the transaction. Alright, so the second thing you should know is that not confirming payments before completing the transaction. Alright, so for this particular point, Money Point Peers has made, especially Money Point Company, has made it very um, easy for you to be able to trace payment and they have the POS transfer future on Money Point. I think currently it's only on Money Point. If there is any other POS that is doing that, I can decide to update you guys, but currently it's only on money points you can find that. All right. So they have decided to go for the um, POS transfer feature that you have your account number on the POS and once payment is made into the POS, you receive notification on the POS and you are able to even check the picture of the person that sent the money. This is very, very important. It's, it's a tool that money points uses and I guess they are doing very fine with it. Okay. So you, you are able to check the picture and also accept the transaction. All right. So you should always confirm payment, no matter how busy you are, no matter um, the network challenge, you should always confirm payment. Don't just go for the receipt you are seeing because you may not be um, smart enough to identify fake receipt from receipt that is not fake. All right. So you should always make sure that you confirm the payment before you complete your transaction. So once the customer makes payment, make sure you confirm the payment from your end. All right, so and if the customer is using the mobile app, insist on seeing the transaction directly from the app rather than seeing the um, debit alert of the transaction. This is very, very important as a lot of persons have been scammed through this act. So it's very important to know this. All right, so the third thing you want to know most always check out your printed receipt before you make payment all right this looks very very simple but yet a lot of persons have been scammed through this act alone all right very very simple but then a lot of persons have fall victim of this so by now i believe you must have subscribed to this youtube channel you must have liked this video please subscribe we want your subscription is very very important to us Liking this video also is very, very important to the growth of this YouTube channel. Like I said, we want to hit 100,000 subscribers before this year and so by your own subscription, we can achieve this goal. So like I was saying earlier, the third point is very, very important. 
Okay, take for instance, we've been seeing, I've been hearing personally of a lot of challenges where a customer comes to withdraw, let's assume a customer comes to withdraw 10,000, the customer is given the PIN, the PS to enter the PIN, the customer decides to maneuver the PS, goes back, change the figure to 1,000 euro. And because you were the one that entered 10,000, you feel like there's no need to check the, the amount on the receipt again, as long as it's approved, then you just pay out. So after entering the figure, you give the customer to enter their pin, you collect back the POS. Once you click on enter and it prints receipt, you check the figure on the POS. So this is where a lot of persons, in fact, some persons even get confused to the extent of thinking that the error came from them, that probably they, are, they were the one that did not enter the figure correctly. All right, but we've seen these issues repeatedly, repeatedly, and the statistics have shown that this is coming usually most times from the customers. All right, the customers we maneuver the figure and the most is approved because the business owner is only interested in approve or decline. All right. So once the transaction is approved, they just pay out without checking the amount on the figure. You should always confirm the amount on the figure. I believe these videos must have helped you a very long way. And um, if you have any question you want to ask, please drop them on the comment section. I will be attending to your question. And also, so, um, an announcement I have to make is that currently now we have um, t-shirts we are selling. So for those that will be interested in getting our t-shirts, we have the Money Point brand, the face cap, and a lot of t-shirts, a lot of face cap with um, a lot of companies and organizations. So you can drop um, the link below the, the video and search for the one you'll be interested in. And also for those that want to support this YouTube channel, Right. A lot of the videos, all the videos we put out are not sponsored. There is no sponsored video. This is coming from personal ad work, personal dedication to make sure that every business owner there is doing excellently well. So one of the ways you can help to support the channel is by joining our community. You join our membership and also you subscribe to our monthly plan. This is going to help us a lot and you be you become an exclusive member of this YouTube channel and we'll be having some private discussion with you that we may not be willing, we will not be willing to disclose to the general public. So also we need your subscription as well. So subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. Cheers and God bless.